Hi everyone, this is Maverick Kwan, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2021 A-Levels H2 Chemistry, Paper 1, Question 5. So let's take a look at Question 5. What is the trend in bond energy and in bond length of the carbon to carbon bond from C2H6 to C2H4 to C2H2? So we have four trends involving bond energy and bond length which we will be able to determine in a while. So let us consider the topic tested in this question. It's under chem bonding and it's actually a fairly straightforward exercise targeting the bond energy and bond length involving carbon-carbon bond in ethane, in ethene and ethyne. Three different functional groups involving our hydrocarbon. So let's take a look at the structure for C2H6, C2H4 and C2H2. Now, involving C2H6, which is ethane, this is the structure, and you notice the carbon-carbon bond, this is a single bond. Involving C2H4, this is my ethene, alkene functional group, the bond between carbon and carbon, it is a double bond. And involving C2H2, your ethyne function group, this carbon-carbon bond, this is a triple bond. Now, if the comparison is between carbon-carbon single bond versus carbon-carbon double bond versus carbon-carbon triple bond, then it is actually very, very straightforward. We should know that the more bonds we have between two atoms, the bond will be stronger. So I would expect carbon-carbon single bond to be the weakest, carbon-carbon double bond because you have one more bond to break. So the strength of that carbon-carbon double bond should be stronger. And if I consider carbon-carbon triple bond, I have even more bonds to break. So my carbon-carbon triple bond should be the strongest amongst these three carbon-carbon bonds. And if your bond strength involving carbon-carbon single bond it is the weakest, then we will expect bond energy it is the lowest, least amount of energy required for me to break my carbon-carbon single bond. And if I compare carbon-carbon triple bond, since this bond it is the strongest, so it should require the most amount of energy for me to break that bond. And therefore, bond energy involving carbon-carbon triple bond should be the highest. And if I compare bond length, if the bond is weaker, this means that the bond should be longer. And my carbon-carbon single bond should be the longest bond. Carbon-carbon triple bond should be the shortest bond. Because the stronger the bond, then the two atoms can be pulled closer towards each other. So in general, the stronger the bond, the shorter the bond length. So this is actually a pretty simple exercise. We notice that in terms of bond energy, from C2H6 all the way to C2H2, bond energy from lowest to highest, there is an increase in my bond energy, whereas involving bond length from the longest bond length to the shortest bond length, there is a decrease in our bond length. So we can look through our options in this question. Involving bond energy, we expect the bond energy to increase. And involving bond length, we expect the bond length to decrease. So the answer to this question will be Option C. Alright, so that was the discussion involving this very straightforward exercise. If you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.